Hello guys, I'm going to be showing you my finish this book and what I've done so far. I have not done many pages, as you can tell. I've just done this much, so if you're not interested in this, but skip ahead and I'll done to the page where it says um, secret intelligence training, but you'll have to wait till the end of the video to see it. Okay, so this is the finish of this book, and for the first bit, I just done Invent Design for the tools, and I've not finished the front cover, but I'm thinking, for these two eyes, I'm going to put, like, um, if I just give an example of this, you see the actual eye shape? I think you can put button one of those for the, um, these. So, yeah, enough on the first page. Right here, just tells of well, a picture of a tree. This one is a. I can use this book just a black back. The background is black, and then in like this scrape thing, it's like. Finish this book by Kara Smith. And at the bottom, it says Penguin Books. Right here, it says a little quote right here and some footsteps and the quote says this book is dedicated to all explorers and future explorers of the world if you want to read that okay so then this page is um start here and what you do is you have to mark your book off where you live and if you don't know where this is i think that's the usa right there USA, that's where I want to go, but no. Um, I like the United Kingdom. I don't like it, I live there. I do like it, it's okay. So, yeah. Okay, let's just zoom out on you. Right, so then right here, it just tells you to fill in this like, little questionnaire thing. And it says, date of birth, place of birth, and like, will you like this, like, dreams, notes of how you found this book, and then for your fingerprints. Also, right at the top of this page, for an hour's cup of hand, right at the top of the page, there's more, and it says your city, your zip, and your phone number, and it says your address, obviously I can't show that, the name, and your date that you started it. I started mine on the 26th of the 12th, 2014, about two, it was two months ago, I don't know, I started it last year, like the end of last year. Okay, what else I've done? Let's skip this page. Right here it says sit down and just like, let's just sit down and collect all of these info. Oh, that's all the books, see? Start here, sit down. And in here is like my mini poster. So I'm just going to show you the poster that I made. It's, it, it says don't disturb, I'm finishing my book with two, a pink and a blue flower, or a pink and a blue, not a blue and a pink, <laughs> never mind, and some love hearts, which I think this looks really cute, and some swirly patterns, and some smiley faces. Okay, also now, um, is this page where it says um, use your favourite pen even though well, I didn't draw this pen it was already there as you'll see in the previous pages not previous and um, the next couple of pages there is uh, some designs in the middle so this one has a pen it says to use your favourite pen and create this page this is my page and uh, down here I have a little explanation, explanation of um, why I chose this pen um, sorry, I forgot to say at the beginning, um, there was like this little part of the story, right here. If you would like to read the part of the story, you can just pause and read that. Okay. Um, what page am I on? This one. Okay, so that's, no, that's the pen page. After that, I have to make the decision with another designer, though, which is a question mark. I have not done this page, I have not done the next or the next page, but I'll just quickly show you them. This one is to gather some tools, like, it says, you must have a journal, a pair of scissors, some glue, a stapler, a needle, a thread, that's optional, a digital camera, that's optional, 
a good eye and a courageous spirit. So I'm going to take a picture actually of my all my equipment down on this desk and I'm going to show you it. Okay, so then it says right here the story and by here you just draw a park bench. Not come around with it yet, but yeah. This page, it looks like a. I don't know if you're supposed to do anything. <laughs> the instructions manual says. And. So, yeah, I've not done that one yet. So, I might go into that and I haven't coloured the title. I thought I'd done that. Okay, this one is becoming a sleuth. I think this says a sleuth. Sleuth. Because these are the two O's, it sounds like a sleuth. And then it says to find, research the definition of sleuthing. And I put, I researched the meaning of sleuthing and I found out that sleuthing, I don't know if I'm saying this right, sleuthing means a police investigation to turn, I was sure, I can't remember who to read. Right there. And I do need to do this pen right here. This pen right here. But yeah, I'll show you the next page, and this is my favourite one so far because it took the most time. So now I've actually started the secret intelligence training manual. This is the first page of dinner, and this is the last page. This is the intelligence training, and it says tips for becoming a sleuth. Three steps, and there's like three steps to each of these buckets. Yes, buckets. So these are little pockets right here. <coughs> My voice is okay. These are little pockets right here. Um, I coloured the ends in, as you can see. Oh, and I'm just gonna quickly read out these. I'm just going here. So I'm gonna start with the one at the top. Um, this is the mini buckler. So like literally, that's the size of my hand, palm of my hand, and this is the size of the paper. So, roughly about the size of someone's palm, I'd say. This is the blue booklet. So, it says, What do you need to become a sleuth? And it's just writing on them. And it says, What you need to become a successful sleuth is... Focus, patience, a magnifying glass, a plan, sneaky, you know, sneakiness, and that's about it. Okay. Also, in the second pocket, we have well, this one, and this one is my favourite one, and it says how to become a sleuth. I hope I'm saying this right. <laughs> and it says step one: you must be sneaky. Step two, you must be very good spy. Step three, you must always be willing to try new things and different tactics. This is like my least favorite one, and it's a good plan because I didn't know what else to put in there. So a plan to be in a sleep. In a good sleuth plan, you will need. Map, pen, pencil, colour and pencil, a good eye and sneakiness. Oh, and this is the next page which I have not done. And this is how much I'm going to show you today, guys. This is where you disguise yourself and the set more in the back. Oh, little tough plate. I'm going to cut this one out. And so, yeah. And it's this bit, if you want to read this, this is the blue. So, you can read this bit, pause it. And then this bit, if you pause that. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you for this week's video. This was the finish of this book. And at the beginning I did say, um, how, did, how did you come in contact with finish this book? So how I came in contact was by this rec, this journal that I completed. Um, I done a complete flip through, and yeah, this is the Q and A. Oh, sorry, I didn't say that. The next video is gonna be a Q and A, I think. 
so if you have any comments down below what questions you'd like to ask or I'll answer all of them I will probably answer all of them because I have got many comments in this video so all the people that comment will have a Q&A so it might be really long and it might be really short if not, if I don't have a lot of questions I'm going to do a Q&A but I'm going to um, I'm just going to like look at questions that, that you might find helpful to know or something so yeah, advice sort of thing okay so please like comment and subscribe for more videos um again the quality sound and picture might not be the best today but next month i'm gonna get a proper camera so the quality will be much better so yeah so that's all bye